Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this crochet mug cozy pattern. This mug cozy is made using cotton yarn and a button and I think it's perfect for the upcoming fall and winter seasons and all year round but especially around fall when people tend to drink more tea, more coffee, and hot cocoa to stay warm and I thought that it was simple just to dress up a plain coffee cup and help to keep your coffee or tea or even hot cocoa warm a little bit longer. They also make nice gifts and they make teacher they make great teacher gifts or you can have them as housewarming gifts or you can sell them and give them away at Christmas time where I think it would be cute if you included a mug with this cozy and then inside the mug you put some of your favorite teas or hot cocoa mixes with some marshmallows and put it in a cellophane bag. I think that would be really cute and it would be perfect for the holiday season. So let's, let's get started on today's tutorial. So for today's tutorial you're going to need some cotton yarn. You're not going to need a whole lot one skein of cotton yarn will make a bunch of these mug cozies and I'm using the Mainstays 100% cotton yarn. I talked about this in a previous video so if you're interested in checking that out I will go ahead and link that. And this is very similar to Hobby Lobby yarn. It's 180 yards and 165 meters. It's a three and a half ounce skein or 100 grams. It's a number four worsted weight yarn. And for knitters, they recommend a US 8 5 millimeter knitting needle. And for crocheters, a US H8 5 millimeter crochet hook. So you're going to need one skein of cotton yarn in any color that you like. You're also going to need a crochet hook. You're going to need a H5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using my favorite Clover Amore. You're also going to need a tape measure for this project. This is going to be really helpful in getting your measurements down correctly. You're also going to need a tapestry needle. And finally, you're going to need one button. And I'm using these, which I believe I got from Walmart. You can also get them at Michael's. But you're going to need this button, and it is a 1 and 1 8 inch or 28 millimeter button. You can use any button that you like, but these are just what I had on hand. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So for today's tutorial, you're just going to go ahead and make your slip knot. And you're just going to chain 8. So to make a chain, you're going to do yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. So you're going to make a total of 8 chains. So that's 1, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once you have your eight chains, you're going to make one single crochet and one double crochet all in that second chain from your hook. So that loop on your hook does not count and you're going to count two chains from your hook, so one and two, and in that second chain you're going to make a single crochet and a double crochet. So to make a single crochet you're going to insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops are on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. Next you're going to make a double crochet in that same chain space. So to make a double crochet you're going to do yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops are on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the remaining two. And that's how you make your double crochet. So to complete this row you're going to skip the next chain and you're going to work one single crochet and one double crochet in that next stitch. So this is the chain that you just worked in. You're going to skip this next one and in the chain after that, you're going to work one single crochet. Oops. One single crochet. 
and then a double crochet. You're going to skip that next chain right here and do the same thing in the following chain. One single crochet and one double crochet. Okay, skip that last chain and then the very last chain you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make one single crochet and one double crochet. Okay, then for row two you're going to go ahead and chain one and turn. And then for row two you're going to skip that very first stitch which is double crochet from your previous row. And in the next stitch you're going to make one single crochet and one double crochet. So you're going to skip this very first stitch right here and you're going to work in all of the single crochets from the previous row. So in that single crochet you're going to do single crochet and double crochet. And then you're going to skip this next stitch right here and in the stitch in the next stitch which is again your single crochet you're going to make a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip that next double crochet and in that single crochet stitch you're going to make one single crochet and a double crochet. Okay, so when you come up at the end you're going to skip this stitch right here and in the last stitch which is going to be right here you're going to make a single crochet and a double crochet. Okay, so for row three you're just going to repeat row two. So you're going to chain one and turn and you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to repeat row two until your work measures eight inches from the beginning. And that's where your measuring tape is going to come in handy. So just go ahead and repeat row two over and over until your work measures about eight inches. So I'll go ahead and do one more row with you and then I will leave you to it until you get eight inches. So again you're going to skip this very first double crochet and in that single crochet you're going to make a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip that next double crochet and in the next stitch after that you're going to make a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip that next stitch and in the stitch after that you're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip your next stitch and in that final stitch you're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. So just go ahead and repeat row two over and over until your work measures eight inches and I will be back and show you how to complete the next step of your mug cozy pattern. Okay, so I've been working on my mug cozy, so let's get our stitch mark or our measuring tape and it is eight inches. However, if you want to make your mug cozy a little bit bigger, my mug cozy fits a standard crochet, um, I'm sorry, it fits a standard coffee cup, but if you want to make yours for a bigger coffee cup that you have, you can always just increase this part of the pattern by an inch or two or even three inches just to get your width of your mug cozy pattern. So it's really up to you, but again, mine just fits a standard coffee cup, but you can always adjust the size to a bigger coffee cup by adding just a few more inches to this part right here. Now your edges might look a little bit wonky, but don't worry about that. We will clean up everything at the very end. Okay, so now that you have your 8 inches, 
you're going to start on that middle portion where the button will go. So all you're going to do is you're going to turn your work and you're going to skip that very first stitch and you're going to slip stitch into the next um, two stitches. So you're going to skip this one right here and you're going to slip stitch so insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop and pull through that loop on your hook. And you're going to do that once again so insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through that loop. And then you're going to make a half double crochet into the next four stitches. So the reason why we made those slip stitches is we want to go right in the middle to make that next portion and by making slip stitches you're moving over to that section but you're not really adding any height to your pattern. So that's always nice. So you're going to make a half double crochet in the next four stitches. So to make a half double crochet you're going to do yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And you're going to do that three more times. So again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now that you have your four half double crochets, you're going to chain one and turn. And you're now going to be working into these four stitches to make that button strip. So you're going to make one half double crochet in each stitch across. So you're going to work in that very first stitch and you're always going to have four. So that chain one does not count, it's just going to count as your transition to the next row but it does not count as a stitch. And you're just going to work one half double crochet in each of the four stitches across. Just like that. Okay so you're going to repeat this last row into your button strip measures two inches. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and I will meet up with you and show you how to finish this mug cozy pattern off. Okay, so I just finished my section and as you can see it is two inches. So for me that ended up being five total rows. So one, two, three, four, five rows of half double crochets. So for the last row in order to make your button hole you're going to chain one and turn. You're going to work a half double crochet in the very first stitch. So in that very first stitch, make your half double crochet. You're going to chain two, one and two. And you're going to skip the middle two stitches, so right here. And in that very last stitch, you're going to make a half double crochet. And that is how you finish off that. So next we're going to immediately go into the border and you're just going to work a single crochet border evenly around your entire mug cozy pattern and in each of the chain in each of the corners you're going to work three single crochets and when you get to this top part with the buttonhole space you're going to make two single crochets. So, as always, there's not an exact science, so I'm just going to go in each of the stitches around and I'm just going to go ahead and make my single crochet stitches. And when they mention, when the pattern mentions the corners, it's going to be this corner, this corner, and then these two at the bottom. So when you get to those corners, you're going to make three single crochets and that will just help round out that corner. So again, just evenly space your 
single crochets around and that will give you a nice clean border and kind of hide all those sides that are a little bit uneven. So here's your first corner. So you're going to do one, two, and three single crochets. And then you're going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch across as evenly as you can. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this border and I will show you how to finish off at the top over here and show you how to add on the button and then you'll be all complete with your mug cozy pattern. Okay, so I'm coming up at the end, so I have my chain twos here. So all you're going to do is you're going to do two single crochets right in that loop and then you're coming up at the end so in that very first single crochet that you made you're just going to make a slip stitch just like that and when you do those two single crochets in that chain it kind of gives it more weight to it so it helps keep that button secure and then you're just going to leave a little bit of a tail and you're just going to fasten off that way. So you're going to go ahead and weave in your ends. And then this is what your finished mug cozy will look like. You can use any cotton yarn that you have in your stash. You can use any color that you would like. You can change it up and make it stripes. You can change it up and make it in like, say you have a self striping yarn, you can do that. You can pretty much make this in any color that you would want. It would even look great if you wanted to make this in a Christmas color and again have that in like a little theme with your mug cozy and your mug and your um, hot cocoa say. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in my ends and then to show you how to make your button I will go ahead and show you how to do that as well. Okay, so for my button, I just went ahead and threaded it with the yarn. And I have about maybe 12 inches or so, just because I wanted to be able to weave that in. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your mug and you're going to simply wrap. Oops. I like to keep my the buttonhole on the right side, but it's totally up to you. And I kind of just like to wrap it around and kind of pull it tight a little bit because you don't want this to fall up and down. But I kind of pull it tight a little bit just to see where I want that buttonhole. So the button will be about right here where my thumb is at. So again, it's going to be about right here. So that's going to be about an inch from the bottom. Now you want to make sure that your button is right in the middle so that way it's even. And the way that I do this, let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit for you. So the way I do this is I get my crochet hook and I get one strand of that end, that tail end. And I just kind of eyeball it so I'm going to put the button about right here. So I'm just going to go from the back and I'm going to go in one of the stitches and I'm just going to take that end and pull through and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm just going to pick my button up and if I want the button to sit about here then I want my stitch to be over here so I'm going to take that other tail end and I'm just gonna grab it with my hook and just pull through just like that then once I have that I'm just gonna pull both ends 
so they kind of come down like this and if I like the positioning of it which is pretty much in the middle then I just turn it over and I make a double knot with my two ends and that way it secures it kind of want to pull that tight so that way it stays and then again you're just going to weave in both of your ends and then your mug cozy pattern is completed so there you go so if we look at the completed one you have that right here and again you have your mug cozy so you're just gonna lay it over just like that and you're just going to hook that button into that loop and there's your mug cozy so again you can have this in a variety of different colors you can have this in a solid color you can use whatever button you want you can use whatever cotton yarn that you have and I think that this turned out very cute and it's very practical like I said and I absolutely love it and it's a great way to also use up your cotton yarn stash I know I have a lot of cotton yarn that I've been making dishcloths with so I think this is another great alternative to using up your cotton yarn stash and if you have any buttons lying around like I know I do then you can always add that and yeah so you can make this for your standard coffee cup you can use it any color that you like you can use any button that you like as long as it fits through that buttonhole that you have and these will make wonderful Christmas gifts or any time of the year gifts, teacher gifts, so highly recommend trying this pattern out. So thank you so much for joining me today on how to make this textured mug cozy pattern. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, if you ever have a video idea that you would like to see, please leave me a comment below and I will try my best to get to that video for you. Alright everyone, have a great day and stay safe. Bye!